awesome animals. Hello, everyone. Today I'll be comparing two amazing dog breeds, the Saluki and the Afghan Hound. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. The Afghan Hound is a breed of dog developed as a hunter in the hill country of Afghanistan. It was once thought to have originated several thousand years ago in Egypt, but there is no evidence for this theory. It was brought to Europe in the late 19th century by British soldiers returning from the Indian-Afghan border wars. The Saluki is one of the oldest known breeds of dog. There is robust archaeological evidence of the Saluki that dates back at least 5,000 years. Images of slender dogs with feathered ears, tails, and legs have been found on various artifacts in the Middle East such as tomb paintings and mosaic sculptures. Bred to be tracking and hunting dogs by virtually every culture that has raised them, hounds possess excellent noses and high amounts of stamina. Tracking scents, chasing game, and deep bonds with their human companions are all hallmarks of this breed. The Saluki was originally bred by the Arab tribesmen for bringing down game and was considered a sacred gift of God by the tribesmen. An Arabic and ordinary dog is called Kalb, while the Saluki is El Or, the noble one. The Afghan hound was originally used for hunting large prey in both the deserts and in the mountains of Afghanistan, where his abundant flowing coat was needed for the warmth. The Afghan was highly valued for his ability to run, fast and over great distances, courageously holding dangerous animals, such as leopards, at bay until his huntsmen on horseback caught up. While the Saluki and Afghan hound are doubtless close relatives and share many similarities, there are more differences between them than just the coat. We will now begin the battle championships. While Salukis are in general a very healthy breed of dog, they do have some health conditions that can be a concern especially if you aren't cautious about whom you buy from. They include hemangiosarcoma, cardiomyopathy, and autoimmune thyroiditis. In Afghan hounds, health problems can include hip and elbow dysplasia, juvenile cataracts, thyroiditis, an autoimmune disease that destroys the thyroid gland, laryngeal paralysis, and bleeding disorders such as von Willebrand's disease. This point goes to the Saluki. Afghan hounds are a low shedding breed. They've only got one coat as opposed to other breeds which have both a top coat and an undercoat. As a result, they don't shed as heavily as other breeds. Their coat is more like human hair because it's in a consistent state of growth and needs regular trimming much like we do. Salukis are a low shedding breed, which is good news if you want to adopt one, but don't want to spend time cleaning up loose hairs. They're also very easy to groom. A simple brush once or twice per week is enough to keep shedding to a minimum and help them maintain a healthy coat. This point is a tie. The Afghan hound is very elegant and dignified, yet may seem somewhat aloof. They are very sweet, loyal, affectionate, and sensitive. They have a low dominance level and normally get along well with other dogs and pets. The Saluki is an aloof dog, but one who's devoted to his family. He's gentle and thrives in quiet companionship. He has a tendency to bond with a single person, which can lead to separation anxiety. With strangers, Salukis are reserved and they can be shy if they're not socialized at an early age. This point will go to the Afghan Hound. The Afghan Hound can run up to 40 miles per hour. Saluki sprint as fast as 42 miles per hour and can cover 2-3 to three miles at high speeds if healthy and fully grown. This point goes to the Saluki. Though Afghan hounds are sight hounds, of course the breed is sometimes referred to as the scented hound. For the scent glands in their cheeks that emit a pleasant musky odor. It's described as muskier than jasmine, perhaps more like sandalwood with hints of cinnamon. Salukis are a clean, low shedding breed with no extraordinary doggy odor. This point goes to the Afghan Hound. Afghan Hounds are very independent-minded. They are not easily trained because they are free thinkers and they do what they want to do. Even though they do not respond well to obedience and tricks training, they are very smart dogs. Salukis are generally quiet dogs. When training a Saluki, be consistent and use only positive reinforcement techniques, such as food rewards and praise, since the breed is so sensitive. Salukis are fastidious and like to be clean. They shed little and require only weekly brushing. This point will go to the Saluki. Most Afghan hounds can clear a four-foot fence in one swift leap. Sometimes they will seem happily contained in their yard, but once they get the opportunity, they'll find the highest launch point along the fence line and leap over to the other side in pursuit of a cat or a rabbit. The Saluki is a typical sight hound in that he thinks for himself, steals food whenever and wherever it's available, chases and kills cats, squirrels, goats, and other animals at every opportunity, and can jump anything less than a six-foot fence. The last point will go to the Saluki. These dogs are great family pets and are extremely intelligent. 
but the Saluki won this battle. Afghan Hound fans, don't be disappointed. Better luck next time. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time. Goodbye!